Don't become a business coach if you can't be Agent 007. Hey, this is Jeffrey Suey, and to become a business coach who can quickly get to the root cause of your business client's wants and needs requires you to become an Agent 007. Now look, there's a lot of things that you could need in order to be a great business coach. You could use business experience, an MBA could be a plus. The main thing is to think like Agent 007 and become a business coach who possesses the intelligence that'll help you break through any challenge that your business coaching client will face. Now, James Bond was a covert agent, a daring spy. You have to become a spy on several levels. So what does it mean to become a business coach 007 agent? Well, you'll have to be like a fly on the wall in your business coaching client's life. Reading through the lines and hearing what's not being said is critical to lead your client to take action which will keep them alive in business. Once you become a business coach, you'll be the 007 agent for coaching your clients through strategy, time management, business relationships, etc. Ian Fleming was the original author of the James Bond story. Fleming wrote 12 James Bond novels and spent lots of time alone in Jamaica getting into the head of his character, James Bond. I don't know why you need to go to Jamaica in order to get into the head of James Bond, but neither here nor there. You'll need to spend time alone after your coaching sessions to get into your client's head and understand what they want and how best to help them get it. In business coaching, the most important thing is that you ask the right 007 questions. So let's talk about some of these questions. Now, there are really two big questions. We're going to talk about one of them in this video. The two questions you must get to the bottom of to become a business coach who's able to uncover your coaching client's goals and mission include, number one, what does your client want? You got to know what they want. And number two, what's preventing them from getting that. Now, in this video, I give you four questions I use to quickly find out the answer to that first overall question, what does your coaching client want? So here's question number one. What do you want to feel? Your business coaching client might just want to feel different in their situation. Question number two, what do you want to do? What action do you need to take? Or what kind of action do you want to get yourself to take in that particular situation? Question number three, what do you want to have? There might be a specific thing your client wants to have or a specific situation they want to have externally. Question number four, what do you want to be or who do you want to be more specifically? What identity do you want to take on? Who do you want to become? What role do you want to take on? What do you want to achieve and who you're becoming? These four questions, what do you want to feel? What do you need to do? What do you want to have? And who do you want to be? You'll need to be great at asking these four questions to become a business coach who hears what's not being said and who sees what's not visible. These questions are really different ways to ask, what do you want? What do you want is the basic question. While your coaching client is talking, you can get a much more specific idea of what realm of their life is this wanting happening in. Is this happening within them emotionally in terms of what they want to feel in the situation? Is it happening in terms of what they need to do behaviorally speaking? Is it something they want externally or is it just who they want to be? Once you get a sense of what area your business coaching client is really focused on, then you can ask them the specific question your client is focused on for their wants. There's probably going to be an answer to all of these questions at some level, and that's great, but you've got to have a place to start. Look for the first area that your business coaching client is really focused on. Get the answer to that first. Then you might expand it depending on what you're really trying to diagnose with your client. And if you forget all of these questions, remember, the most important thing is that the first and most important question to ask before any other question is, what does your coaching client want? Now, once you get all the answers to that overall question, do you remember the second question? What do you ask after that? The second question is, what's preventing them from getting it? 
And so in our next video, I'm going to give you some 007 business coaching tips to become a business coach who can drill down even more on what's preventing your business coaching clients from getting what they want. Give this strategy a try and see for yourself that it works. This is Jeffrey Suey. Thanks for watching this video and leave me a comment sharing the most incisive questions that you use to ask your business coaching clients. And by the way, to get your free step-by-step -step life coaching business blueprint video toolkit, go to coachestrainingblog.com. I'll see you there.